Hello, and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, I'm going to show you how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers. So in case you're a little hazy on exactly what those are, on the left side, I have an example of an improper fraction. And notice how the top number is actually larger than the bottom. That's how you recognize one of these guys. Now on the right, I have a mixed number. And it's called a mixed number because it's basically a mix of a whole number, like the 8, and a fraction part, like the 1 third. All right? So, basically, both these represent the same number, and we want to be able to freely convert back and forth between the two, you know, in case we want to do something a little bit useful with them. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is start with this fraction and show you how I got the 8 and 1 third, and then I'm going to start with the 8 and 1 third and take it all the way back to 25 thirds. Okay? Let's go ahead and start with that fraction. So when you start with an improper fraction, and you want to turn it into a mixed number, you want to find out how many times the bottom goes into the top. So basically, you go through a division process. So 3 goes into 25 how many times? Let's see, 3 times 7 is 21, that's too small. 3 times 8, that'll work. And 3 times 8 is 24, so we'll get a 1 as our remainder. Now notice how the pieces we've just collected are the same pieces that we need. So however many times it goes in evenly, that's our quotient, we will write out front. The remainder will end up on the numerator of our fraction, and whatever we are dividing by, or the original denominator, stays as the denominator. Okay? So to go from an improper fraction to a mixed number, you go through the division process. All right. Now that we have it as 8 and 1 third, let's take it back into a fraction. Now, when you see this notation, this is actually just a shorthand notation for 8 plus 1 third. So, a sense, think how you would convert that 8 into a fraction with the 3 on the bottom. You would need to multiply it by 3. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to take 8 and multiply it by 3. And this will give us a new number, 24. Now you take that number and you add it to the top. So 24 plus 1, and you keep it over 3. So the answer for this one, or the improper fraction, is 25 thirds. There you go. So let's review that process again. You take the denominator, you multiply it by your whole number out front, and then you add it to the top. And there you go. And that basically gives you a process to, to move from the mixed number into the improper fraction, or even from the fraction into the mixed number. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.